Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir ou bien bonjour. Ça dépend qui côté ou à regarder les vidéos. Hein. Après midi, nous avons toujours fait vidéo, souvent nous avons toujours et à parler. Et comment donc euh, euh, le gouvernement est fonctionné dans quel que soit n'importe pays. N'importe pays, chaque gouvernement fonctionne avec trois têtes. Pas vrai? N'importe quel pays et avec trois têtes que le gouvernement les, euh, les fondé. Mais quelques pays, d'un côté, le gouvernement y a des gens différents. Mais trois branches là, les pas gens différents. Les trois branches là, tu sais que ça a l'exécutif, le législateur, le législateur et le judiciaire. Ça a pas jamais changé, ça a toujours été de même. Mais après, mes derniers, nous voulons parler surtout dans le pays, dans le pays blanc américain, qui gens y ont fonctionné. Et premièrement, euh, nous connaissons un pile surprise, un pile surprise surtout, euh, un pile monde qui toujours a gardé ce qui a passé euh, dans le pays blanc américain, et nous pensons un pile monde surprise de ce qui a passé dans le monde là, qui s'est mal dit, qui s'est mal dit, côté tout le monde pas de monde, un pile monde qui a inspiré, qui est président et dans notre temps privé, et côté le RIVA, et nous pensons que ce sont des choses qui font que euh, euh, nous sommes extraordinaires parce que. Parce que et premier élu li, comme président avec tout pouvoir yo, dans le gouverneur, il prend, prend 27 gouverneurs, le démocrate gagne 23, euh, dans le champ sénat 53, euh, jusqu'à maintenant, il a compté toujours 40, 53 et 42, je crois, et chambre de PTA qui se chambre basse là, il a gagné 435, dans 435 là, je pense que démocrate déjà, et républicain déjà avec 212, et démocrate gagne avec 200. Et nous, un peu le monde ne doit pas penser qu'est-ce qui est, qu est l'élection. Hein? Et c'est comme ça qu'elle a passé. On a passé un gros jugement. Vraiment pour gens élection en passé. Hein? Euh, des fois, aux États-Unis, le gouvernement aux États-Unis, on nous dit ça, nous dit ça à plusieurs reprises. Aux États-Unis, pour arriver président dans le pays aux États-Unis, ou besoin de 270 voix qui relaient le électoral college. Ou besoin de 27, ou besoin de 270. Le président met des populaires, les gens populaires, mais dans l'élection aux États-Unis, n'importe hein, qui fait 270 électoral college là, il fait avant, il est soit campé là, parce qu'il y a déjà un président. L'autre pays est capable de faire différent, par exemple, en Haïti, nous sommes capables de nous pas nous pas connaître, nous connaissons, nous parlons de ça, les masse vote là, populaire vote là. Mais dans au pays aux États-Unis, les différents dans l'autre pays, est-ce que c'est le même, c'est même bagarre Et premièrement, dans le pays blanc américain, il y a toujours parlé de ça, les dictature, 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 l'on président, et lui, peut-être lui, il est encore le lui, dictature. Et nous connaissons le plus gros tribunal de paix dans le pays blanc américain, hein? Mounsayo, yo eli a vie. Mounsayo, c'est moun qui la yo a vie. Pas vrai? Konya nous dit comment le monde gade sa passe dans le pays américain. Et nous connaissons ancien président américain. Il a gagné près de 35 chargés. Il a été chargé. Et comme un criminel, il a été chargé. Il a été chargé. Il a été chargé. Comment le fait arriver? Côté arrivé. Vous avez une question à poser, vous avez répondu. Mais ce grand pays, le premier pays dans le monde, là, il y a tout ça au fait, nous connaissons. Et tout ça au fait, bon, parce que si vous avez une première puissance dans le monde, là, si vous avez un autre monde, vous avez un problème, mais pour le pays blanc, il n'y a pas un problème. Donc, uh, c'est so, why, that's why nous voulons tout le monde comprendre. Aux États-Unis, ce n'est pas majorité, ce n'est pas masse populaire qui mettait mon nom aux États-Unis sur 270 électeurs qui ont besoin pour arriver président dans le pays blanc américain. Thank you so much everybody for always there who always support my YouTube channel. Always make sure you stop by, show me love, uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will subscribe back to you and let me know what you do you think about what happened in the United States. Do you think the country will make a difference with the former president? Guy, on ne pas on ne pas prendre ça maintenant. Nous nous connaissons. Et si tu n'as qu'il tu pas nous, qui c'est qu'il tu as ici? 
lorsque on monte par un moment si ça prend tête lui côté là là c'est sale toujours dit et dans dernier jour ça là président américain à chaque fois la parler il fait appel avec unité demander à nous oublier ça que tu passé à nous avancer pour qu'à faire pays faire progrès c'est ça le ça la prêcher qu'on y a il pas parler même genre et gain bagalité fait il admet qu'il te fait yo il ouais il admet qu'il te fait vrai mais et ça dit que et si me penser tout le monde t'a dit bah président une chance pour nous voir comment il pourra le travail et, et nous penser et à faire ça aller nous penser que nous t'avons contourner et qui c'est masse de protection et il était dit ça surtout lui même toujours dire les peuple prend pouvoir dans deux one la soirée dans la première joie il prend pouvoir ça va le faire la la va le faire masse de protection qu'on a ça qu'a parler dans pays blanc américain masse de protection et c'est ça qu'a fait actuel, actuellement qu'on y a ce masse de protection comment président ça yes guy we start the video with natural language we start the video and once again i want to say thank you to everybody for all who's there all who support my video it is good morning it is good evening it's, it depends where you listen to it you could say uh i know somewhere probably magandan gabi there would be magandan gabi magandan omaga would be buenos dias buenos dias buenos dias buenos noche it depends where you listen to the video uh, to, to the video guy Always make sure guys support, share, and like I do with support, guys. I mean, and um, every time YouTube send you a report, say you get 200 people watch the video, only one or two subscribe to your channel. And we say that every day you don't subscribe to my channel just because you like what I say, you subscribe to my channel because you want to support me. You give me the thumbs up because you want to support me. In return, I will do the same thing for you also. That's why you did it. You don't do it because you like what I say. You like the way I spoke. You like anything about me. It's not about me. It's all about the support you give me. Sometimes, of course, you sometimes thing you say probably have to make sense also, so that people so be able to support you. Probably they have fun and watch your video. Guy, don't forget. So. The election usually in the United States start on November 5th, which would be on Tuesday. Today is uh, Saturday. It's like uh, Tuesday. It's like uh, five days after the election. Remember, I want everybody to understand that Donald Trump, he's a president-elect. But Joe Biden, Kamala, is still the president. Here in the United States, the president is, is, is where will, 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 uh, will install and in January 20. That's the time he go come and do the speech and everything. That's why he gonna start in January 20. Now the former president, he is the president elect. Do he? But that don't mean he is. He could stop working now. He could stop prepare his cabinet, his everything, everything. He try to prepare everything. I believe he start travel also. Um, if I don't mistake, I I was just watching the news and they told me he probably in Russia. I believe so. That's why I heard. And I'm not sure. That's why I heard he's in Russia. And try to meet the president of Putin. So everybody is like, um, question is, what does a second term <coughs> of the former president Trump will bring to the world or to US? What? <coughs> Sorry, guy. What he will bring better, different from the first term everybody's worried but i'm just i listened to to him a couple days maybe until today i listened to him and he looked like he's a different person the one he was before it looked like it will be a different person from now he talking about unity he talking about come back together let's try to make the country better let's try to make things better we need to start forget 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 don't burn don't don't go to the past whatever's past he say we gotta forgive and we can move the country forward better country but all when everybody in the world burn the friend back together that's what he say that's what he start saying i was talking earlier here in united states guys 
the popularity vote doesn't make the president of United States. United States, the president of United States, they need 270 electoral college. That's why you have a president. Whoever wins the 270 vote, which is called electoral college vote, whoever wins that first is the president of United States. That's why you guys see last time it's happened to Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. So, Mr. Trump, when the 27th vote first, that means he's a president. It doesn't matter how many votes coming after, how many votes coming after, only if they could change to the 70. If you can't change to the 70, that's it. He's the president. But, guy, watch this. He's the president. He went to the Senate. 53. I think 52 to 47. Remember that he announced it. You got 100 senator, 100 senator here. The House have 435. For you to have a majority in, in the House, you need 218. We have 218 is majority in, 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 in the House. Whoever have 53 or 51 or 52 in the Senate, that majority. So. He come back with the full power, guys. Full power. He get the, the Senate. I don't know if you're going to get the House, but because this is, is they still can't. There's people still coming in. They still can't. But I don't know. But in the House, the GOP, which is General Donald Trump Party, they have 212. And they all decide. Yes, guys. So that means you need 270 to college to become a president of the United States. Not a majority, not a popularity vote. You need 270. Whoever have 218 in the House, they have a majority. Whoever have 53 in the Senate, they have the majority. So it's something to me, guy, he come up with the full power. He got the Senate. He got the governor. I don't know if he will get the House. It looks like he might. So what that, what that does bring for the wall? Did that bring... If the wall is worried by him coming back. I don't know. It's up to, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. So, do we gonna have the same guy on the first term when he was a president? I, nobody does know. But it's something to me he's, he's taking different. He's talking different. He's talking like bring everybody back together. Bring the whole friend back together. That's why he's talking about guy. I'm going to let you listen to it. Guy, it, it, the whole world is shocked. But not everybody. Not everybody. Nobody thought, nobody think that the former president would make it. He been through a lot, right? He been through a lot. Nobody thought he would make it, but something he does. So, guys, I'm going to let you listen to him. See what happens. deportations or sweeping tariffs, rising prices for working families. Trump made a lot of promises during the 2024 cycle. Now everything from education to climate action, reproductive rights, health care, and the rule of law, guess what? That's all on the table for discussion. Joining the table, MSNBC political contributor and White House correspondent for political Trump made a lot of promises during the 2024 cycle. Now, everything from education to climate action, reproductive rights, health care, and the rule of law, guess what? That's all on the table for discussion. Joining the table, MSNBC political contributor and White House correspondent for Politico, Eugene Daniels, and Heath Mayo, founder of Principles First. Welcome, gentlemen. Good morning to you both. Eugene, what does your reporting tell you about where the Trump administration is going to start? What do they do day one? 
Yeah, I mean, the meetings that they're having right now at Mar-a-Lago are starting with immigration, which is no surprise, right? They're trying to see, first of all, what they can do without Congress. What are the things that the President of the United States can do on immigration without anyone saying yes or no? And, you know, what's interesting about the language that has that changed over the last couple of weeks with Donald Trump talking about um, this mass deportation, you know, the biggest mass deportation in history, as he's put it, is that he added... Um, people who had criminal backgrounds to it, right? That that this would be people who who were in his eyes criminals. Now there is an argument to be made and has been made among Trump supporters that anyone that has come in the country illegally um, they see as criminals. But that gives him his some of his aides say a little bit of wiggle room mm -hmm. um, for it not to be everybody, right? And so that is something that folks should watch. That's probably number one. Um, he's also going to look at kind of reshaping the actual like. Like Michael was saying, reshaping the government, right? Before he left office in 2020, he um, kind of had this policy, you could change policies as president, about changing the designation of people who are civil servants, right, and kind of making them political appointees. Um, president Biden rolled that back. That is probably something that's coming back likely on day one. Those are the kinds of... Th it, th that's why we, we've been saying to everybody, I understand here in the United States, for the former president or the president-elect, Mr. Dan Trump, for him to do a mass deportation, he have to be a reason. He have to have something. He, he, he have to have something to do the mass deportation. He have to have something. You cannot just go knock on the door to everybody say, hey, you are a legal immigrant, I'm going to send you back. Pretty much everybody here in the United States is immigrant. Pretty much every single one of them here in the United States is immigrant. That means he go knock door to door and say, I'm going to send you back, I'm going to send you back. No, it doesn't work that way. He has to go to Congress. He has he have to go to the Senate. He do he be able to find something? Yeah, he might be able to find something. He could do executive order or something, but to do the executive order to do mass deportation, you have to go to every single state. You could do uh, the president could do the executive order. What about the state governor say we're not going to do it? We're not going to deport people the way he wanted to do. It. Some state might be do it. But not all states going to do a mass deportation, just knock on the door and take people and deport them. Remember that guy. For the United States to be United States, you have to be immigrant. For United States to be United States, you have to be immigrant. They do the job. They do any job. Here in the U.S., they're not going to do it. You cannot knock on the door and try to deport everybody. Yes, of course. If somebody has something, a bad, a bad ground, or something bad you do in their country, they're going to deport you. They, you. they might find a reason. They might say your driver license probably something. Something probably won't. They might date it. But, guy, master protection, I don't think it's going to go just start saying, I'm going to deport everybody. I don't think it's worked that way. I do understand. He might have a power. He might send it to the Congress. They could do whatever he say. But you cannot do it on one side. You have to do both sides. If you have 50 Republicans say yes, but you have to have at least 20 Democrats say yes. So it all is going to be a problem. That don't mean he going to just go and deport people like this. Et mesdames et messieurs, nous toujours attendons et il y a plus de monde à faire et dire et non seulement le président américain, hein, il dit que euh, s'il est élu président dans le premier jour, euh, il prête seulement hein, le 20, dans janvier, 20 janvier. Aux États-Unis, le président américain, hein, il prête seulement chaque le 20 janvier. En Haïti, nous connaissons le fait 7 février. Et il a toujours été dans la date ça. Et déportation pour le fait, pour le président faire masse de déportation, hein, il faut que la masse de déportation doit être légale. Il n'y a pas juste faire ça, il n'y a pas tout le monde dit que je vais me déporter, je vais me Non, la déportation est supposée légale. Il n'y a pas qu'à faire illégal. 
comment est légal, il faut qu'elle passe par le Congrès. Mais passe par le Sénat. Il faut que l'exécutif fasse. Mais est-ce que l'exécutif fasse un bal droit dans tous les 50 États pour que l'on ait déporté le Jean-Président Mandela Non, il n'y a pas de cas comme ça, vraiment. Est-ce qu'il y a des Oui, il est capable de déporter le monde. Il y a des gens qui sont dans le pays, qui viennent dans le pays. Il y a des gens qui viennent dans le pays, ils proposent, ils connaissent parce que tout le monde, ils connaissent le pays parce que tout le monde, ils sont des délégants, ils viennent dans le pays, ils ont fait ça, ils viennent dans le pays. Oui, quand il y a ça arrivé, ou bien on tout vide, quand il y a l'opère devant l'autorité qui place, devant l'État qui place, quand il y a l'élégade, le document, ou bien dans le monde, ou son monde qui a fait deux autres dans le pays, oui, il est capable de déporter, parce qu'il y a un bali au côté pour le déporter. C'est comme ça tout, il y a un fait, il y a un allant stop boss, il y a un allant supermarket, il y a un côté aller, il y a un campé, il y a tant de monde, les policiers ne sont pas être les mandos pour papier, le bal papier, si papier est bon, il y a tout prendre la lave ou le coup blanc. Nous sommes chez les gens, il y a un allant, il y a un allant, il faut le marcher, marcher avec un papier dans le monde qui montre où sont les gens qui sont légales. Par exemple, il y a un allant, il y a un allant, il y a un allant, si mon allant, c'est citoyen américain, il y a un allant, 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 il il y a une licence, il y a une autre pièce, un passeport, un mail, côté pour aller, si vous avez un policier à camper. Il y a deux preuves, il y a deux ID dans le mail qui peuvent mettre les deux ID, depuis que c'est des papiers légaux, ça va vous dire, il y a qu'à déporter mon nom. Pas de raison pour vous déporter. Sous un pays, ou il est dans un pays, il n'y a pas de papier dans le monde. Mais songez bien, et l'idée, vraiment, le président américain a dit que... La fait masse de protection, c'est pour le monde qui a entré dans le programme président Biden. Yo. Mais, le monde a eu légal, pas vrai? Il a eu un passeport, il a eu un passeport dans le et automatiquement, il a eu un passeport dans le travail. Quand il a eu un passeport illégal, après deux ans, il a eu un si deux ans, il a eu un passeport dans le travail, il a eu un passeport dans le travail, il a eu un illégal. Quand il y a là, l'être qui a commencé à parler, le monde qui te plaît pour moi, ça a le sponsor, il va commencer à écrire pour moi, il va dire, la caille, puisque le papier l'a fini, nous pas décidé pour nous battre le papier encore, nous demandons pour mettre le disponible, nous avons pris la caille. C'est là, quand il y a un monde, ça y est, il légal. Par exemple, si nous avons un petit pièce dans le pour deux ans, tu pièce ça tout autant, tu pièce ça dans le mail, le monde, ça, c'est un monde qui est légal dans le pays. Là. L'illégal parce que les papiers, l'État, l'autorité, bali pour rester dans le pays. Les papiers ont fini dans le mail, automatiquement fini dans le mail, ils pas renouvelé le bali. Quand il y a là, les gens sont venus illégal, quand il y a là, ça, ils ont frappé pour tout, ils ont dit, ou bien dans le travail, ils ont dit, dans le travail, ils ont dit, dans le travail, ils ont dit, ils ont pas permettre pour le travail, ils ont capable de te porter. Mais master protection, guys, the master protection, all have to be some. Some, some kind of legal thing. I don't think the matter protection could just, you could just, uh, the former president could just do matter protection, just knock to everybody's door and deport them. I don't think it's going to work that way. This country, that's what they call the United States. The United States is built to every country in the world. Every country in the world. And the United States, they need them. They come in here, they work. Some of you come in here. With the respect, they work. They're looking for job. They work. Not everybody coming here try to be a uh, try to be a criminal. Try to do something wrong. But so that's the reason why. That's why I want to tell you guys that. Of course, it will be mass deportation, but it can be on legal way somehow. So everybody try to scare everybody. So they're going to deport everybody. But they talk about guy different. Mass deportation is called illegal. Mass deportation illegal. Non, masse de protection illégale. Masse de protection illégale. La masse de protection que le parle, il parle de masse de protection monde qui est illégal. Il parle de masse de protection pour monde qui est illégal dans le pays. Ça dit que son monde est illégal dans le pays, ou pas en jafou, si monde ça est déporté. Mais si monde est illégal dans le pays, l'État autorisé, il ne peut pas payer dans le pays, il ne peut pas prendre pour déporter sans raison. Oui, c'est ce que nous voulons tout le monde savoir. If the guy say he gonna do a master petition, he did say that in his campaign. But he say master petition with illegal immigrant, right? If you go, if you legal in in in, in United States, you should not be worried. He say illegal immigrant, right? Illegal immigrant. If you legal, why would you worry? If you legal, why you worry? 
si vous avez fait masse de protection avec le monde illégal ou même ou pas illégal ou pas de problème c'est pour le nous gagner avec nation pas nous et je toujours dit parce que dans le moi qui ai ce que tu as dit au président Trump il est président au qui Philippe c'est le pensé ici bon donc pour les publics hein les passeurs avec carbone les passeurs avec télécom à faire bagay ici à prendre qui t'as dit qui Philippe qui ça qui Philippe dans le pays d'Haïti ah hein qui Philippe sont anciens rebelles ou anciens prisonniers nous prenons qui viennent prendre 7 ans, 9 ans dans le pays blanc américain, c'est ça qui est lié. Pas comparé et républicain, pas même gens, avec peut-être démocrate, c'est différent. Grande différence. Haïtiens, ils mettent tout le monde à tout le monde. Il n'y a pas faire différence de monde qui est propre à monde qui est sale. Il n'y a pas de monde sale, il faut le faire de monde propre. Il n'y a pas de délégant, il faut le faire de monde sérieux. Le monde sérieux, il y a des points pour le délégant. Il est grave pour nous. Thank you so much everybody. Thank you guys. Thank you for guys for watching this, uh, my video. Always, always share me out, always support me, always give me a thumbs up, always subscribe to my channel. Today, we just want to make sure everybody understand that. Do you believe the world is will better? Will, will be safe with the former with the with the president elect Mr. Donald Trump? Or you think the world was better with President Joe Biden? So it's up to you to let me know. God, don't forget. Give me a feedback. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video and like the video, guys. So therefore, everybody's worried. The main thing for the former president, the mass deportation. Ah, illegal mass deportation. Guys, pay attention to this. Illegal mass deportation. Not mass deportation with illegal migrant. Ill illegal migrant mass deportation. It's clear. If you're illegal, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. <coughs> That's why he policy his policy, say. <coughs> it's alright, guys. So it's not for like everybody make it like <coughs> sorry. <coughs> everybody, everybody make make it feel like he gonna deport everybody. That's why everybody that's why, oh, oh, mass deportation to everybody. No, he say illegal, illegal immigrant. That's why he say the people who come to you now said illegal. He said he will deport them. Guy, when you say thing, don't just say, oh, <coughs> him. he go to deport everybody. No. It's just an illegal immigrant. And for him to do the mass deportation, he got to get approval to Congress. He might do something different. He could go, maybe executive order or something. But, guy, if you're legal, you should not be worried. Thank you so much, guy. Don't forget to share me out. Give me the thumbs up. Let's listen to it. Of law, guess what? That's all on the table for discussion. Joining the table, MSNBC political contributor and White House correspondent. Well, I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends in this incredible movement. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. I want to also thank my beautiful wife, Melania, First Lady. Help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And we made history for a reason tonight, and the reason is going to be just that. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends in this 
incredible movement. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. I want to also thank my beautiful wife, Melania, First Lady. Help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. Obama. Tried to be so nice and respectful. Oh, she opened up a little bit of a, a little bit of a box. She opened up a little bit of something. Oh, she was nasty. Ooh, shouldn't be that way. That was a big mistake that she made. With your support on November fifth, we will achieve success that no one can imagine. We will have the strongest economy. The most secure borders, the safest cities, the most powerful military, the best trade deals. We will dominate the frontiers of science, medicine, business, technology, and space. With your support in November. You are going to have to deport some people. If you're not willing to deport a lot of people, you're not willing to have a border when there are 20 million illegal aliens in our but country. Times 15 million people, this is like, I mean. What, John, I think it's the wrong attitude to take up. Okay, I so there's. So there, so there, doors and ask people for Well, papers, again, but I, I, do. Let me, I think there's a wrong, this is the wrong attitude towards it, right? There are 20 million people here illegally. You start with what's achievable, you do that. <laughs> And then you go on to what's achievable from there. I think that if you deport a lot of violent criminals, and frankly, if you make it harder to hire illegal labor, which undercuts the wages of American workers, I think you go a lot of the way to solving the illegal immigration problem. But President Trump is absolutely right. You cannot have a border unless you're willing to deport some people. I think it's interesting that people focus on, well, how do you deport 18 million people? Let's start with 1 million. That's where Kamala Harris has failed, and then we can go from there. Once you stop Kamala Harris's open border policies, you've got to do something with the people who are already here. And I think that you take a sequential approach to it. You are going to have to deport some people. If you're not willing to deport a lot of people, you're not willing to have a border when there are 20 million illegal aliens in our country. Okay. See what happened is, guys. What happened is, uh, he's a new vice president for uh, Donald Trump. And... Uh, like everybody say, uh, he worse than than the former president, and he's talking about. They asked him, "How are you going to deport all these people who's here?" He said, "We got 20, 20 million immigrants here. It's already here. Is that is, please? Is that the way you think he could do the deportation?" That's why the guy asked him, you have to be a legal way. Is that going to be easy? I don't think so. So let's listen to the vice, uh, the, the new vice president. In million people, this is like, I mean. What, John, I think it's the wrong attitude to take up. Okay, I mean, so there's. So there, so there, doors and ask people for Well, papers, again, but I, I, do. Let me just, I think there's a wrong, this is the wrong attitude towards it, right? There's 20 million people here illegally. You start. He's an immigrant people, also. You do that. And then you go on to what's achievable from there. I think that if you deport a lot of violent criminals, and frankly, if you make it harder to hire illegal labor, which undercuts the wages of American workers, I think you go a lot of the way to solving the illegal immigration problem. But look, President Trump is absolutely right. You cannot have a border unless you're willing to deport some people. I think it's interesting that people focus on, well, how do you deport? The guy's talking about legal immigrant. He's immigrant. He is an immigrant. So you go knock on the door and deport everybody? No, you can't do it that way. That's why they try to ask him. <laughs> but he say they're going to try to find a way to do it. But find a way to do it. But you could just do it, knock on the door, and send them back. This is not you. It's not the way it's going to happen. Thank you. 18 million people let's start with 1 million that's where kamala harris has fa failed and then we the bad ones out the criminals and the drug deals one of those executive orders was to use 20 billion dollars to build a permanent wall between mexico 
and the US. It's 3,000 kilometres, something like 1,900. Ended the cordial call 35 minutes early. He's clearly a very big person. Or at a Super Bowl party, President Trump upped his attack on the judge who blocked him, tweeting, just cannot believe a judge would put our country in such peril. If something happens, blame him. Or the headlines are going to be Donald Trump rants and rants. I'm not ranting. Trump's critics call today's conference a melt. Thank you very much, and I'll tell you, I love this state. I love Georgia. I love Georgia. And I'm thrilled to be back in this incredible place with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. That's what you are. You are hardworking. You're great. We, we know how good you are. 